Hey, what's up guys? It's Shelby and welcome back to Our Common Youth. So today I'm just going to be talking about how to survive high school. And so I'm going to be a junior in high school pretty soon, like very soon, unfortunately. And I'm just going to be talking about some things that I wish I would have known if, when I started high school. So yeah, if you're watching this video, you're probably in high school or going into high school or you just simply subscribed to the channel and you wanted to see another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, make sure to subscribe and without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing and probably the most important thing is to not procrastinate. And this might seem like, oh yeah, like of course, don't procrastinate. But if you're anything like me, you'll save everything until the very last minute, the night before it's due, or five minutes before it's due. And it just, you're not gonna get very far in the long run. And you should just do the assignments as quick and fast and with enough time left as possible, just so that you can do fun stuff after that. And moving on to the next thing is try to finish all of your assignments at school. And I know this sound might sound a little weird like, oh, well, I don't want to do my homework at school. Like, that's not fun. But trust me, if you finish all of your work at school, then you'll have all that time after school without homework needing to be done. You can just like watch Netflix or YouTube videos or go hang out with your friends whatever you want to do and you won't have to worry because your homework will already be done. Moving on to the next thing, join lots of clubs or sports or whatever you do. I don't know what people do after school because you're gonna want to make friends and it's great to have allies and people that you might not have talked to beforehand and you'll have time to do that because you had already finished your homework and stuff at school. The next thing that you should do is always make sure that you get everything done the night before. Um, whether it be picking out your outfit or like making your lunch or breakfast, whatever, anything. Just get everything done the night before so that you can wake up and just have time to get ready or do whatever you want to do. And these next two things kind of tie into that one. You should always bring a lunch and snacks because if your school is anything like my old school was, there was a lot of junk food and food that just wasn't good or like, like good for your bodies and stuff and we had vending machines but it was all like bad gross junk food stuff so 10 out of 10 would recommend bringing lunch maybe some granola bars or snacks or something and maybe a little bit of extra money in case you do forget your lunch or something yeah <laughs> and the next thing is to go to bed at a decent hour and wake up at the same time every day so this way if you go to bed earlier then you'll have a better night's sleep and when you wake up in the morning you won't be as tired. But also, if you wake up at the same time every day, you'll sort of get into a routine and it'll soon become easier to wake up. I wish I would have done that, but I was going to sleep at like 3 a.m. every night and waking up at like 7, 7.15, 7.30. I don't recommend that. Always, always, always bring extra chargers. Growing up in the Silicon Valley, we have a lot of things online. Pretty much everything we do is cloud-based or on the internet, so always bring your computer charger if you use computers at school, laptop charger, phone charger, that's helpful too, because if you don't have your computer with you, you can use your phone. Just bring chargers, <laughs> enough said. And the next thing is kind of um, directed towards people if you walk home or bike home or you don't have like a direct like parent driving you home or something but bring pepper spray or some sort of defense thing it's actually illegal to have pepper spray it's kind of unfortunate but if someone's trying to hurt you or take you and you spray them with pepper spray I'm sure you'll be like okay like the police will understand that they were trying to hurt you 10 out of 10 would recommend because people are crazy the second to last thing is organize 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 i cannot stress this enough but you want to stay so organized always take notes because if you're anything like me you'll probably zone out a lot in class maybe fall asleep always take notes so that you can remember later it's always nice to have organized binders and notebooks and stuff just so you know where everything is. I know it sucks when all of a sudden you're walking into class and they're asking for your homework and you're just like, oh, I did it, but where is it? I don't know. 
Yeah, so always organize your papers in your backpacks. Like, at the end of the week, take out stuff you don't need. Like, don't put trash in there. Stay organized. And if you have a locker, use it. It's there for a reason. My last tip for surviving high school is to take care of yourself. Whether it be taking care of your skin and having good hygiene or like exercising or just relaxing and taking time for yourself and making sure that your mental health is okay. You need to do it. Mental health over everything. And I know this it may sound like, oh, well, I need to get these grades. Like, I need this. You're not going to be able to do those assignments if you're not okay in the head like take time take a bath like watch like an episode of your favorite show watch a youtube video or something it's great when you do it in moderation like don't procrastinate so much that you can't do it in general but do it enough so that you will feel better to do your work i don't know if that made any sense but you don't want to be in a in a position where you are so not okay that you cannot go to school anymore. <laughs> so going over a few things I said just to review, stay organized, mental health over everything, and have a good time. It's high school, you only get to go through it for a few years and then it's gone forever. So just have a good time, but also like do good things. <laughs> Fabio, do good things. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to subscribe to our common youth We post new videos every single day and That's cool. You should join the fam. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We Would appreciate that. I don't know. Um, also comment when you go back to school or if you already went back to school or if you do online school or something because I do online school It's a good time but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.